what Euphonic and DJ Fresh could do, they could uh, you know, file for injunctions to stop the person from actually talking about it in public. But what I can seem to understand is these cats go on social media and they start talking about Well, morning guys, how are you guys doing? Uh, welcome back to my channel. I talk about everything that goes down in the film industry, especially for Christians who are looking to make it in the industry. I've been around for some time and I've been seeing a lot of things. I've been meeting a lot of people. So I'm gonna to try to keep it real and try to be as objective as possible when I respond to a lot of the um, events that are going on. If you want to stay updated with my content and what's going on, do drop a like, do subscribe, or hit that notification bell. Now I'm going to talk about a recent event that just happened right now that I think we all can learn from, especially the guys. So just to keep in mind that when I talk about this, I'm going to talk about it from a male perspective. But I'm sure you ladies have some few things and some few tips that you can learn from as well. Recent reports just came out that DJ Fresh and Euphonic voluntarily stepping down from their roles because of a rape accusation. Now this is real crazy because it just so happens that it's all over Twitter. And one of the other crazy things that are just going down is the fact that the lady says that she was a virgin in that time. And for the record, you know, Twitter blocked me so I can't really, I can't really log in and I can't, stupid nonsense man, I don't care. I'm not gonna retract that tweet just so you know, okay. At DG Fresh SA and Euphonic, Will you ever acknowledge drinking me and further raping me? Okay, drinking me, it's the language. Anyway, it's Twitter. <laughs> it's really hard to come out when you know that you're going up against people that are powerful, who have fans and everything. It's been a well-known fact that when someone goes through a situation like that and you're dealing with powerful people, it's relatively harder to talk about it because they have the money, they've got the power, they've got the lawyers. There's always going to be a stereotype hanging over the situation. And you're always going to be perceived as you're a person who's after the money and everything. Now DJ Fresh, as a, aka the big dog, isn't new to all of these allegations. You know, there have been allegations labeled towards him before. Now the two guys are actually on social media. I can't believe this. They're actually... You're not supposed to go on social media when there's an investigation that is going on. This is what you need to pick up. You want to come into this industry and you really want to put yourself in the public eye. You want the fame, you want the success, you want the money. Great. Awesome. I'm happy for you if you want that. However, that comes with responsibility. And this is the one word, the number one thing that a lot of people don't ever, nobody seems to want to tell you about that. Okay, fame comes with responsibility, comes with obligations, obligations, standards, values. You gotta have that, you gotta cultivate that. If you don't have that, you're gonna find yourself in a lot of trouble, an awful lot of trouble. Okay, you gotta determine what kind of company is right for you. If you wanna come in this industry and you really wanna put yourself in that position, you gotta know that the stakes are very high. You gotta know your company. A lot of guys come into this industry not knowing who am I supposed to be hanging out with? Do these people have good intentions with me? What are their intentions? What do they want from me? Everybody wants something out of somebody. You gotta know that. What do you have that somebody can benefit from? You understand what I'm saying? What type of other companies are they introducing you to? You know, they're taking you to parties and hangouts and all that nonsense and you feel like, yeah, you're the man, you're out there. You're balling, right? You're in the social scene, you're in the celebrity scene. Now they're connecting you with other celebrities and everybody, right? But what you don't know or what you don't seem to get about that is, you know, the type of people that they might be introducing you to, are they introducing you to the kind of company that has good intentions? Back to you. Name your place. Don't just go to all kinds of places. You cannot just go find yourself going to clubs and go find yourself in places where people are drinking and partying and everything. Okay, like I said, Determine the type of company and I'm not I'm not the type of Christian that advocates for alcohol and, 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 and you know any kinds of drugs and everything because that's a company that will introduce you to all kinds of things. People who don't even go to church, people who will discourage going to church, they'll be telling you like, hey man, you know, what's the point of going to church? I mean, I'm just gonna stay home and pray. Well, discipleship, that's what it's about. You're not being discipled by the right company. I just talked about determining the right company for yourself. Who are you hanging out with? What type of people? Are you hanging and rolling with you know 
are they the type of people that are gonna hold you accountable when you're doing something when you start talking like like when you speak inappropriately when you you know have all the wrong ideas fame can get into your head there's just something about money and fame it gets into your head so much that you feel like you can say whatever you want you can do whatever you want are they the type of people that are encouraging you to keep to keep on doing what you're doing or you know the way you might be talking to women or you know when you've got a bunch of girls that are like sort of like flirting with you and everything I, I, you know it, are the people going to encourage you to get her number or are they people that are going to warn you about that and tell you that, listen, you need to watch your boundaries, you need to watch out for these type of characters because, trust me, you don't know their intentions. You know I say? You don't know their intentions. That includes the women as well. Now, I don't know about these women. I don't know about, um, you know, the allegations that have been labeled against Euphonic and DJ Fresh, but I'm telling you right now, you don't know people's intentions. There are a lot of times where allegations can be true and allegations can be wrong. We need to look at it from both sides. You need to put yourself in such a position that, um, you know, you got to have standards and draw boundaries and follow them through. Because it's the boundaries that are supposed to protect you against the type of people that, you know, might have wrong intentions, especially girls who have wrong intentions. Um, for some reason, it's a lot more dangerous for you to associate with the type of girls that know that, you know, I, I, I don't know, I don't know what kind of world we live in, but for some reason, it's like, you know, you, as a man, you stand more to lose by being accused of something that might end up being wrong and you end up going to jail for it. A lot of men are behind bars for being wrongfully accused or doing something that they didn't. When a female um, is found to have been lying and charges or whatever allegations that have been labeled against them, the men are dismissed, the consequences aren't as grievous for the female. That's the kind of world we live in. That's what you got to understand. You know, it's, it's not a fair world, I know, but that's what we got to understand. Drawing standards and boundaries, having values and having standards helps you to simply determine or you are putting yourself in such a position that um, there are lesser chances of a person making an allegation about you that something went down. It becomes less believable because of the boundaries that you've set and because of the times and because of the places where you're at and because of the way that you interact with people. It becomes a lot more easier to vindicate yourself. It becomes a lot easier to argue your case because your case is so easy and crystal clear and so easy to distinguish. If you have boundaries whereby you, you don't want to find yourself in the same space or in the same kind of, um, you know, being alone with a female or with females in such a way that, you know, especially, especially females that you don't know, you know, don't going out clubbing with females. If you if you if you if you look if you're that type of dude, you want to go out there and you know party with women and whatever the case may be. Draw boundaries. Don't ever find yourself in a situation, especially giving them lifts, giving females lifts. If you don't know them, if you don't trust them, or if it's not somebody that that you know you or somebody who's known by somebody, and you know there's mutual trust and confidence there. That's something else. Sometimes you need to use your discretion, but boundaries are important. It's to avoid temptation. This industry is not your friend. You gotta get that straight. There's just all kinds of stupid things that happen sometimes that I don't know what's going on with some of these guys. You got Kaje Homabu as well, um, who's, another report just came out that he's going back in court for violating. Um, he was arrested earlier this month for being in contempt of court. Here's the thing. Look, he was living with his girlfriend, all right? Cohabiting. Bad idea. These cats are getting involved with in, in relationships, and I, I look. I don't want to sound like I'm coming hard on somebody. I don't know the guy. I don't know his heart. I don't know everything. Um, but the point of the matter is that is, look. Let's have some standards. You're a Christian. Be a Christian. Draw standards about how you live your life. A lot of times you get all these reports about these celebrity guys, and there's some funny story about him cheating. It's funny story about. You know, um, he's living with his girlfriend and everything. Like, yo, big red flag. Like, dude, come on. You know, look, if you're a Christian guy, be a Christian about how you're going to live your life. You're doing it to protect yourself from unnecessary publicity, for un from unnecessary things of all kinds and of all sorts. All right. Anybody is prone to drama. Everybody's life is going to be mixed and tangled with some kind of drama. But if you're about Christianity, then be a Christian. Okay, be a Christian about your work. God wants to help us and save us. Anything that God, anything that is 
considered a sin is what harms us. It ultimately brings pain and suffering to our lives. For some reason, we believe in the, this delusion that, you know, we can make it our own way, okay? You know, if you want to go and live with your girlfriend or whatever, you know, you, know, you want to do your own thing, okay, good luck with that. Go do your own thing, you know? Good luck with the pain and the misery and everything, all right? I don't know why people just never learn, but there are some people that look attractive. Euphonic and DJ seem like they were partying, I don't know, according to this tweet and everything, it seems like they were partying with this girl or these girls, allegedly, and things happened. You know, they were so drunk, caught up in all the drunkenness and everything. Okay, I don't know, why are you hanging out with some girl that you don't know? She looks good, maybe she looks good, but she's just not good for you. Is she good for you? Things like this end up happening. There's a proverb that talks about this. Just because a woman looks good doesn't mean that she's good for you, all right? The lips of a seductive woman are oh so sweet. Her soft words are oh so smooth, but it won't be long before she's gravel in your mouth. A pain in your gut, a wound in your heart. She's dancing down the primrose path to death. She's headed straight for hell and taking you with her. She hasn't a clue about real life, about who she is, or where she's going. So my friend, listen closely. Don't treat my words casually. Keep your distance from such a woman. Absolutely stay out of her neighborhood. Stay out of her neighborhood. Neighborhood can be translated in different ways. Which neighborhood you're at. Neighborhood doesn't, have to, doesn't necessarily mean that the same surroundings. But stay away from her business. Don't commute. Don't associate. Don't frolic. Don't flirt with her. If you don't even know what a girl's intentions are, maybe you know your own intentions. If you know your own intentions, then I'm not talking to you because you know what you want. So you want to get what you get. You get the trouble that comes with that. Now, I'm not saying these guys are guilty of anything, but all I'm saying is that you need to look at the circumstances at which all these things are going on. What's going on? What were you doing? What is your life orientated by while you're doing what you do? So if you're a Christian and you really want to get into this industry, then keep it real. Keep it professional and keep it real about what you're about. Even Java was accused of rape. Why does this always happen to all these guys and all these men and everything? You got to look at all these circumstances and everything. Although I do remember when it was being reported that there were people who were saying the woman was the one who was always insisting on getting close to him. So I don't know if something happened between them or not and then she ended up accusing him of rape. But the point of the matter is you need to understand that once you're famous, once you get to that level within the industry, the levels, the stakes are extremely high. And when the stakes are extremely high, understand that you got to put those Standard, those value, those standards are there for a reason. That means that you gotta level up your thinking. You gotta level up your thinking because the stakes are high. So the type of women, the type of people that you meet along the way, will even the level of the pain and the misery that you wanna go through. So keep it real. Even if you're not a Christian, it's not impossible for a person who's not a Christian to not have standards. And for some reason, I just got a feeling that a lot of you guys, you just need counseling, okay? As Africans, we're not known to come from backgrounds that are very constructive. We don't have great role models. That's not a secret. And we watch guys womanizing women. We watch guys um, abusing women. We watch guys portraying what the idea of masculinity is, being portrayed by guys who tend to, especially in the hip-hop industry and whatever, you know, portraying the idea of being this dominant male, being determined by the type of girl that you're rolling with or how many girls you roll with and the type of car that you drive and all those things. And it seems like when you get in the industry, that's the other thing that people are so fixated with. They're trying to achieve that false idea of success. But it comes with all this nonsense. That's what you don't seem to get. Nobody sells you the misery, but they sell you the fake and false idea of success. People don't seem to learn. But I'm telling you right now. So if you really want to get into this industry, you better know what you're getting yourself into. Know your lane, know your company. Play your gig, go home. Play your part, go home. Film, make your film, be on set, be on time, do your thing, you know? Hang around with whoever you hang around with. When it's time to go home, know that you gotta go home. Know your friends, know your lane, go to church. Know who disciples you. Be discipled. Church is about being discipled.
okay it's not about worshiping god it's about being discipled being with people who are going to hold you accountable being people who know what's good for you and what's good for you you present yourself vulnerable to them they present themselves vulnerable to you vulnerable in a sense that um you know we're transparent with each other about what we want to achieve in life what we want to achieve um, what we struggle with and how we want to get there um you know i'm sure every church has those structures but the point is you gotta know where your lane is and stick with it because otherwise you want to end up being like some of these guys that end up being in the industry they mingle, they mingle with all the wrong crowds and they get into all these you know lifestyles or alternate lifestyles of some sort they believe in the lie and when they got caught up in the lies or in the lie okay in that false idea false narrative there's all kinds of episodes that come with that so i don't know if you want that kind of issue or that kind of nonsense and yo guys if there's an investigation going on you gotta know that there's a little something called pretext bait don't go and tweet about it it could be used as pretext bait to get you to react by the other party or the investigators or whatever okay investigators use social media to get more information on what they're investigating do not respond to somebody if somebody tweets about something or makes an accusation to you on social media do not respond let your lawyers deal with that these guys are responding about this whole thing man like what the heck is going on bad idea like i said they could file injunctions or to have her stop saying whatever she's saying on social media this needs to be dealt with legally like i said i'm being quite objective about this i don't know what the story is but the point of the matter is it's a story it's out there these guys are dealing with that so let's deal with that so that's why all this nonsense happens in the industry whether you're java whether you're euphonic you're you're fresh you're bill cosby you're any other name or whatever the case may be i don't know man okay but stuff goes down in the industry the good the bad and the ugly the question is where are you going to find yourself when you're there remain prayerful and stay true to your craft all right thanks for watching my video do like the video if you like the video do leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what you all think if you found this video helpful in some way or you've got your own advice to give do leave a comment um, and tell me what you all think about all this drama that's going on in the industry and everything and do subscribe to this channel if you want to support the channel notification bell stay updated with other video content that i'll be making if you really want to support the channel i do engage it's good for the algorithm and do like the video because it's 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 good for the algorithm as well so i'm gonna keep it real with you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching and keep it real all right god bless